Hi, I'm Chef Steve. Welcome to the Care Kitchen, where we cook with kindness. This program is brought to you by Comfort Karen at Your Side. Comfort Karen at Your Side provides personal care for people throughout the United States and Canada. We're here with our program, Care Kitchen, every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern, where we feature a recipe or technique or information from the Care Kitchen cookbook and just have a little fun being creative with food, with plating, with ingredients, getting used to basically cooking for people and cooking for ourselves for the best tasting food, highly nutritious and attractive. And that's what the program is today. We eat with our eyes and that is so true. And that's why we always wanna make a really great looking presentation with whatever we're cooking. So uh, with, the, with the dish today, the chicken piccata dish uh, that I made, uh, and uh, I've got all the ingredients ready for it. We're going to cook it in a minute here, and then we're going to come back and we're going to plate our dish and talk a little bit about some of the presentation ideas. It's really important. There's a couple of issues, really, when we talk about presentation that we have to consider. First one, does the person we're cooking for, is it what they want? Is it what they prefer? Have we gotten to know them to know what they like or what they may want to try? So that's the first thing. Second thing is that the food is the highest level of freshness and that it's good quality ingredients. So we want to make sure that that's covered. We also have to consider the portion size. As uh, adults age, older adults have smaller appetites, usually. And that is all also very personal and customizable to whatever you learn about that person in your care or yourself, which you enjoy. So the portion size is important. Is the food in a presented in a way that the person can easily eat it? And we may have to consider certain uh, disabilities that a person may have, level and function, in terms of using utensils and all those other types of things that we need to consider when we're plating something. Is it easy to eat? You know, does it look like it would be too hard? In other words, like a big bone or something to pick up, something of that nature. Can we get to the food easily? So I think that becomes even more of a consideration as people age. So those are certain elements. Now also, what kind of a dish do we use? Now I have just a standard white plate out here and you've seen me use all types of different plating. So it really depends on the portion, the type of food it is, and you know, basically how we want that plate to be composed. And that's what we're gonna do after we cook our dish. So this is really an interesting topic, thinking about after we cook a delicious meal, how do we present it and how do we make it really look appetizing so that that person, including ourselves, really is attracted and starts to get uh, hungry, mouthwatering, smells good, and we want to dive in. So let's get cooking our meal here today. Then we'll come back and we'll plate it up and we'll taste it. Okay, so here's all of our ingredients for our chicken piccata. We've got lemons. we got our chicken breast here ready to go, capers, got some parsley, got some green onions, and here's our vegetables that are gonna go on the plate. We have a baked tomato, and we have zucchini and yellow squash. Then I've got olive oil back there, and some chicken broth, salt and pepper ready to go, so that's all the ingredients. Okay, so let's start on our chicken piccata. This is a classic dish, uh, really popular, it would have been on continental menus in a restaurant, in a continental style restaurant, which is something you don't hear anymore. Back in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, it started to phase out a little bit, but this has always been a popular dish, chicken piccata. So I'm gonna start, put some olive oil in the pan, and we'll get our pan on and get it up to heat. So this is a classic dish that's made with chicken breast and lemon 
and capers and onions and parsley, chicken broth, and finished with butter, which we've got over here in our butter dish. And we're going to finish it with that. Then we're going to serve this dish with baked tomato halves and zucchini and summer squash. So I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful presentation because we know people eat with their eyes. And if it looks appealing, chances are they're going to like it a little bit more because it looks appealing. So especially as adults age and the appetite gets diminished. So the better we can make it look, the more interesting it looks, the more appetizing it looks, the more colorful it looks, it increases the appetite. So it's going to help that person you're caring for or yourself just enjoy it a little bit more, especially if it's delicious. So we're getting our pan up to temperature here. We're just going to let it heat up a little bit more and then we're going to get started with the next part. Okay, so our pan is coming up to heat here. We're just going to let it heat up a little more and then we're going to add our chicken breast to the pan. I've got the chicken breast over here. I've cut it in pieces. It's thin. It's pounded thin, so it's going to cook uniform that way. And it's that way we can make sure that it's nice and completely cooked, for one thing, because we want, when we're dealing with chicken, of course, there is the issue of cross-contamination. We want to make sure that our chicken is fully cooked. So one of the reasons that I have the chicken sitting here on a paper plate is so that it doesn't get make the cutting board dirty and everything can be kept clean that I can just dispose of the paper plate when I'm finished taking the chicken off. Okay, so our pan is ready now. I'm gonna start adding our chicken breast. And we just hear that little sizzle. That's what we're looking for. Now this is gonna be enough chicken for two portions. Okay, so adding the chicken and it's getting nice and seared. Now, one of the important things to do whenever we're working with a meat, whether it's chicken or some other meat, is making sure that we let it sit in the pan long enough so that when we go to pick it up, that it adheres, that it doesn't adhere to the pan and it doesn't stick. So, the more you just let it sit and it's going to start to cook around the edges here, you can see it's starting to get white around the edges. That means it's starting to cook. We have our pan on high heat right now, and we're just going to let that cook in the oil. Okay. So we see our starting to go. We're just check it a little bit to see if it's starting to you know, it's starting to come up from the pan. So that means it's starting to cook. We're just going to let it cook a little more so we get a little color on it. And then we'll be ready for our next step. The next step is going to be, and I'm going to pour off some of this excess oil after I remove the, the chicken from the, uh, from the pan. I'm going to pour that off and then continue making our sauce. This is really a quick and easy recipe. It's classically delicious. It's really, really good. So we see our chicken starting to cook here. Still don't have any much color on the chicken breast, but it's starting to cook and we're starting to get there. So we can look, we see that it's all, nothing sticking in the pan now. Everything is moving and that's great. So we don't have any residue stuck to the pan and we're just going to let that cook a little bit and get ready for our next part so the next part here is going to be once we remove the chicken from the pan and this is kind of a classic in sauteing then we're going to pour the excess oil off and then we're going to put some ingredients in to kind of sweat and start cooking a little bit giving flavor to the pan then we're going to put our lemon juice in. Then we're going to put chicken stock in, which I have sitting over there in the pitcher, capers, parsley, and 
basically finished with butter and that's the dish. Then we're going to show a nice plating with our vegetables that are already prepared. Okay, we see this is starting to cook. Uh, we're starting to get a little bit of brown color there. Looking good. Okay. Okay. Looking really nice. Got that nice color there. We're going to let it cook a little bit more here. Then I'm going to remove it from the uh, from the pan. I have another clean paper plate here that I'm going to just transfer the chicken one to uh, after I get it done. But what I'm going to do is it's going to be almost fully cooked when I take it out of the pan. Now, when you are working with chicken, if you use your finger, you can sort of feel that it, it sort of feels a little firm. When it's starting to feel firm like that, that means that it's just about cooked. Okay, so our chicken is just about cooked here. I'm going to take it out of the pan, and then I'm going to pour off the oil so we don't have a lot of excess oil. to make sure our chicken is cooked. Okay. All right. So we've got our chicken almost out of there. Okay, let me just turn around, get rid of this excess oil. Turn our pan back there. Okay, so the next, first thing we're going to do here is put our green onions in. Let them kind of cook a little bit. Got those in there. Uh, we've got capers here. On this dish, uh, chicken piccata calls for capers. Capers are similar to an olive. They grow on a, on a bush, and they're little, little, tiny. You could think of them as little tiny olives. So I'm going to put those in the pan. And they have kind of a salty flavor, very big flavor, salty and olive-like flavor. Okay, now we're going to hit this pan with our lemon. Okay, our nice lemon squeezer here. We're going to hit that with a full juice of lemon. I've made enough for two portions here of chicken. And we've got that. Now we've got our lemon taken care of in the pan. We're going to let that kind of reduce down to almost dry. So there's no liquid left. And then our next ingredient is our chicken stock. That's going to go in the pan next. And then I'm going to return the chicken to the pan to keep it nice and warm and also absorb the sauce. So we see that's just about dry. We'll put our chicken broth in. And now we want that to reduce down. So we're going to let that come up to a boil a little bit. And it's going to start to reduce. And then we're going to put our chicken back into the pan. Keep it nice and hot and absorb some of this liquid and make sure that it's cooked fully through. As I said, you want to make sure always, especially with chicken, it's fully cooked all the way through. Internal temperature should be 180 degrees. And that way you know that it's fully cooked. All the information about uh, cooking meats and cooking temperatures is in the Care Kitchen cookbook. So you can always refer to that if you have any questions about that. Okay, let's put our chicken back in. Got that chicken back in the pan now with the nice 
pan sauce that's starting to come up. And we want to make sure that we reduce that down. You know, if we feel the chicken is getting a little bit too well cooked, we can always take it out of the pan and just complete the uh, reduction of our liquid that's in the pan. So we're going to let that reduce down a little bit. When we reduce a cooking liquid like this, what's being left is all the flavor. We're cooking the water out and we're making it so that we can finish the sauce by adding, in this particular recipe, it calls for butter at the end to finish the sauce. Some recipes, it might be cream. And there's many other types of things that we can use to kind of finish the sauce and help to thicken it a little bit. So right now we're reducing this down so that it becomes nice and thick when we uh, plate it. We don't want it to be too thick, but we don't want it to be too runny when we're serving it on the plate. So I'm just going to take some of these smaller pieces of chicken and put them back on our plate. And remember, this is the plate that we used, not the raw chicken, but for the cooked chicken. So I got rid of the plate that I was using for the raw chicken already. So I'm just going to take these chicken pieces out. These are a little bit thicker, so we're going to let those sit in there a little longer. Okay. Now, when we plate this, when we plate this up, we're going to have the chicken nicely shingled out with the sauce. We have our vegetables, and I've made some rice for the starch. Now, you can serve anything you like with it in terms of starch or vegetables, but I think rice goes well with this particular dish. And I've chosen these vegetables because. It's their summertime vegetables, for one thing, and it is summertime. Here in Durham today, it's 95 degrees, so it's pretty warm. <laughs> it's definitely summery. So, and they also are very colorful, and it will make a very nice presentation because we do eat with our eyes. Okay, so we're going to let this cook down a little bit more, and then we're going to Finish this sauce off with butter. It's just going to be another minute here. And we're going to get the butter in there. Okay, so this is what we're looking for here. Now we're, it's kind of thickened up a little bit. And it's got that all that good stuff in there. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish this with some butter. Okay, we're going to kind of swirl that butter into the pan, turn our heat down now, and then while this is happening, I'm just going to add my chicken right back in there and make sure everything is nicely coated with our sauce. Got everything working here now. Butter is almost incorporated in. Now we're going to turn our heat down and just let our butter incorporate into the sauce a little bit. And that's our chicken piccata just about. We have to put some parsley in, put some parsley in there. And now it's really looking nice. And then, of course, we need some salt and pepper. So a little salt. And, of course, you can adjust this to taste. As you go, and a little bit of fresh ground pepper. It's going in there. And we have our beautiful chicken piccata ready to go on the plate. That looks great. So next, we're going to plate this up and show you a beautiful presentation. Okay, so we cooked our chicken piccata, and it's ready to go. We've got it in our pan right here. And I'm going to take the pan over here so that I can work with it. We've got our dish here. Got a pair of tongs and we have our vegetables. So everything is hot and ready to go. And I'm going to plate. So one thing we have to think about is the orientation of the plate. You know, what 
side of the plate are we going to present? How do we want that plate oriented? So typically you think of the protein part of the meal in front of the person you're serving it to. So that should be sort of the focal point, And then we compose from there. So I'm going to take our chicken. We have our nice chicken pieces. And we're going to take them and kind of shingle them out on the plate. So we've got four pieces of chicken. This one doesn't quite look as nice. So here's what we do. Put that one on there. And then we just cover that like that so that we have that nicely shingled out. It gives us some height on the plate as well. Height on the plate is important because it gives it that depth. Okay, so now I've got some rice here in a mold. This is already made, butter, parsley, rice. I'm gonna turn that over on the plate. And we have a very nice looking molded rice and it contained and it really looks great. So now the next thing we've got, we've got our vegetables here. I'm gonna wait and sauce this afterwards. And of course, while we're going here, we wanna make sure that the rim of the plate is clean. Before we present it, we wanna make sure there's nothing on that rim of the plate. Okay, so next thing, we've got our vegetables here and we're gonna place them on. So I've got these nice tomato halves, which I baked, and we will be showing this in, in uh, other shows, how to do some of these vegetables when we get to vegetable cooking. So I've got these nice little tomatoes and that gives us some really beautiful color on the plate. And then we have our zucchini and yellow squash so we're gonna put those down and alternate the colors. So you can see it is quite attractive and that is a portion. So we wanna make sure that everything is contained within the rim. That's the other part of this. We wanna make sure that everything is contained within the rim. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my pan and take some of this delicious sauce and sauce our chicken. We got this nice lemony butter sauce. And boy, does that look amazing. I'm just gonna take a little extra fresh parsley and just throw it on here and a little bit on top of the rice. And that is our beautiful presentation. Now look how that looks. And this is how it would be presented to the person and it is a really attractive plate. And there's our delicious chicken piccata, lemon capers, parsley, green onions, baked tomato halves, zucchini and summer squash, and our delicious rice. And boy, does that look great. So now let's dig into it and see what it tastes like. And that chicken is very nice and tender. You cut it with a fork. Got that good sauce there. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Boy, is that good. All the flavors come through and it's nice and buttery. And it's got a delicious lemon flavor, very fresh. You get the flavor of the capers which adds a little salty quality and a little bit of sort of a, almost like an olive quality. It's very delicious. Of course, we have our nice rice, our tomato and our zucchini and summer squash. That makes a very delicious looking plate. And I'm really uh, gonna enjoy this for my lunch today. Well, this is an example of one plating, one dish, you can do anything you like. It's highly creative, but think about what that person is gonna see. How can you whet that appetite? How can you inspire them to wanna to eat it? And that we do with the presentation. And of course, the preparation, the smell, all of the senses are brought into this so that it sort of increases the appetite. Well, you know, this program is brought to you by Comfort Karen at your side, and we're here every Thursday 
at 1 p.m. Eastern featuring recipes or concepts or information from the Care Kitchen Cookbook and learning how to be creative and just have some fun in the kitchen with cooking. Make it a fun activity. Cooking is lots of fun for everyone and we have lots of stories about food that we ate, people we ate with. So it's a great springboard for getting to know that person that you're caring for. And also in thinking about your own experiences and what you like, getting to know yourself a little bit better and maybe trying some things that you wouldn't have tried in the past that you're exposed to and want to, and want to give a try. Feel free to have fun. Be creative. This is Chef Steve here in the Care Kitchen where we cook with kindness. Come back and see me. Again, we're here every Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern with our program. It's been a lot of fun today, and I'm going to enjoy this chicken piccata dish. And you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Thanks.